Hello, I'm M.K. Davis. I want to take a look at the early part of the Patterson film. Uh, the first walk sequence, I call it. It's usually violently shaky and dark and has a, l a lot of the frames that have been skewed and stretched by the fast hand motion of the camera person. So, uh, but embedded amongst all of that, when you use stabilization and you pick your spots, you get some pretty good stuff and it rarely gets shown and I want to show it here. So let's, I, I'm, I'm going to probably uh, ask you to labor through a lot because I just called up everything that I had done in those early days when I did this work. Very little of it's ever made it, you know, to the public scrutiny, but it will today. We'll start on this one right here. This is some of it's some of this is really fascinating. Some of it's you know less so, but rather than go through it and try to filter it all out, uh, I'll just show it all. And this is a, a platinum image in the background that that was shown or sold at uh, Roger Patterson's live events. And it's faded very badly yellow. Uh, in other words, paper fades to the yellow side and uh, celluloid f tends to fade to the red side. This is yellow. And you can be corrected. Okay, let's skip over. This is something that fascinates me right here is something falling away from the left leg as she stretches it out. Watch it. You see it kind of comes up. You see it before she gets there actually. You watch it right see it right there bumping up. Watch it. You'll see it again right in here. There it goes. I don't know whether she stepped on something or whatever. But that's what you get when you film a, an authentically live event. Uh, you get stuff that are un, not on anybody's uh, itinerary. All right, let's move on. It's virtually the same thing. I just tried. It was a, just it's just something I was trying, trying to work, work with with the film and get it to where I in its best form. This goes all the way till she bends over, and there's a skip in the middle where you can't see her. She's uh, too blurred. The camera, the camera person was shaking the camera too bad. So you can't always see her there. And there she goes. Picks it back up in a clear shot right there. And then she just falls over. Right there. She's she's on all fours or very close. See how blurred she is? Now she's sharp again. All right. Mm -hmm. 
well worth the time and effort. There's a lot of hard science can be gleaned from this early part of the film. This is looking at her directly from behind. At her behind. Let's, uh, there we go. Slow it down a little bit. You'll see the, this is some of the frames I used in, uh, when I was, did that video on the, the back, the, I call it flab. Uh, it's probably not flab. It's something that's more like uh, some something to do with their ability to weather cold. But there is the buttocks, and you can definitely see the the separation there. Uh, I wish people would quit spouting off about what they don't know about. Because that did damage. They said it's a pillow there. I don't see any any movement of the buttocks. No independence. No two halves. Wrong. See, there's a lot of pretty, pretty violent movement of the head right here. And this looks like, uh, yeah, this is because she's it's got a sharp curvature, uh, and the sun is coming right down through the across the back, <clears throat> and it penetrates a lot more hair in that area. The back, uh, the spine is got a little bit of a crease in the back. The muscles on both sides are higher. So you got curves this way, and it curves this way, and it's difficult for the sun to hit it directly and penetrate it. So it looks darker. Here we go. See, there's that thing that kind of bounces away from the leg. It's, it's back behind this hill. Before she ever gets there. You can see it right in here. See it? And it comes up at her like a snake or something. Bounces off the leg and flips back. You can see the rear end show pretty good right there, too. And she's cocked around at a bit of an angle because of her leg stride. So this one is kind of catching more sunlight. Whatever that is, uh, which I don't know what it is, it seems to be a bit flexible. There's some uh, individual steels. Uh, 
I stayed on it, and I compared it to things that a person might come across, you know, just walking in the woods, a stick or a, a rock or or maybe, a, I don't know, just a, a little of everything. And I never came to a conclusion. I thought, I even entertained the idea that maybe it was a glove that came off her other hand over there or something. But, you know, in case it was a hoax. But it's actually there before she ever gets there. See, you can see it right there. Watch it. See, right there. So, you know, that eliminates that. I don't even remember what I arrowed there. This is uh, many, quite a few years ago. You can see that the skin, or the hair rather, on the back has a sheen to it. It's kind of semi-reflective or translucent maybe. And it's catching sunlight in some places, it, it overexposes even. And this right here is unenhanced. It shows the sand to be white, but that is not true. Uh, because it's a copy, and any time you copy a positive to a positive, you build contrast. In other words, the lights keep getting lighter and the darks keep getting darker. And you get down a couple of a couple of uh, generations in the copying process, and you, uh, what's what was uh, light blue shale becomes white because the shale itself has an oil in it, uh, and the bright sunlight hits the shale. It's got a Besides being a light color, it's got a sheen. It, it picks it up and photographically. Now take a look at this. That left leg, how planted that leg is. It doesn't even change angles much. Went with her with her right leg kicking forward, and her she's got so much mass that it carries it over this fulcrum in a forward kind of a forward push. But this leg does is not moving. The joint's moving, and the upper leg's moving. But this lower leg is like a, a like a tree stump. And that is odd. These bent bent knee f form of walking is there. There may be some people who could mimic it. Maybe I don't know, but that right there is odd. Now take a look at the length of stride on the left side along the ground when this foot picks up from right here and goes all the way over this hump and down the hill before it hits the ground again. That's a stride.
so much mass forward. When you get that much mass going forward, uh, you know, uh, it's not fair to say that that's a walking gate uh, because uh, the gates that we use to run with are very similar where we bring our feet up behind us and the bottom of the sole is showing back toward the back. Uh, that's sort of what she's doing there, but moving not as fast because the mass is so much greater. That follow over through that over this fulcrum, the carry through. It's like a running but in slow motion. Maybe it. Oh, there we go, some more. I have some with uh, high, high quality inserts in them as well. That's where I put a glove up there. Trying to see if I had something like that. Uh, the conclusion was no, that it was there before she ever arrived. So this is absolutely tested and tested to be untrue. I see it here, I don't know. That's a steel shot. There it is again. And I'll show it again. You see it there before she ever gets there. See it below that hill? There it is. Something's back there. I don't know what this thing is, whether it's something that tried to jump on her leg or, or, or what. But I gave it uh, a fair assessment. You know, I, I look at every possibility. I couldn't come up with a conclusion. Except that I can conclude that it wasn't off of her. It was nothing she dropped. Because she wasn't even there yet, and you could see it. You can see it a little better right here. See the dark? It disappears, comes back up. When she sticks her leg over it, it comes right up on her leg. Just faster, faster than you can hardly see. That shows a little. There are some high quality inserts in this one now. Finally came across it. There that thing is. Watch the second insert. There it is right there. And there it is again. 
in those high quality inserts <laughs> and then it jumps up <laughs> like a uh, I, th I thought maybe it was a snake but uh I don't think so I, I don't think that's what it is if it is it's dark she isn't there yet but there it is and as soon as she stretches her leg out over it, foul. Look at the tendons back there on the knee pit. And this is uh, frame six. Yeah. There's some good stuff in this early walk sequence. Here's a little more exploded view, wider field. There, I point to it. I tried different speeds. You know, I, I gave it a good thorough going over. I see why a person might miss it uh, on an unstabilized format you know where it's all over the, the screen going you know in, 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 in life speed Well, that would be weird if it was something like a snake. You know, a Bigfoot getting snake bit while he's being chased or filmed. Uh, she, that is. But you be the judge. Your guess is as good as mine. They oscillated it back and forth. The falling away from the leg onto the sand. What is that? Some of the biggest feet. Look at those feet. We know how how big the tracks were, so that we got a measurement on those feet. And when she sticks the foot straight back at you, you can kind of use that foot as a yardstick for how tall she is. She 
She's she's n there are people as tall as her, but she's so massive. I d I doubt you know if you find anybody that massive. How she is walking across the broken ground, stepping over a hill right here, and that shoulder, if you drew a line, it would it would touch that line all the way. It's, it's pretty smooth from, from the waist up. Uh, everything is transmitted to the knees. All the up and down stuff. There's some of those uh, shots from way back. That's what I showed, you know, during the uh, the video for the, I call it the flare, but if we really knew what it was, it we it, we would probably disagree with that term. It, it's, it's some kind of layer underneath that's, it gives them that that hair. She doesn't have enough hair to provide any kind of protection from the cold. She's got other methods. There's another thing I was doing. That's the last one too. Okay. All right. What do you think? That is the early part of the filming. And I have another another part of it I call downwalk and I'll address that in another another video where she uh, actually is entering the wood line and then suddenly pitches forward and she's either on all fours or very close and then it that's the end of it that's the end of the first walk sequence So for uh, just about a minute of film, there's an awful lot going on. And some of it is pretty interesting. I thank you for your time.